In today's video I'm going to show you how to use one of these to block your granny squares to try and make sure that they are all the same size. Let's do this. Okay so there are many different ways that you can block your uh, granny squares or any of the work that you make. Uh, one of them you can use a pin board and quite literally get some pins and pin the corners out or you can use one of those um, children's play mats with the soft foamy ones and again just pin them in they actually sell those as crochets mats um, without the abc's one two threes on them but they're actually very expensive so if you can find some second hand ones or if you know someone who had them and their child's now grown up maybe you could ask if you could have one of those and um, what i'm going to use today is a blocking board now this one actually came free with a magazine so it's worth looking out sometimes to see what the free gifts are with the magazines and this one says that it's perfect for squares triangles and hexagons so that's useful so it comes with the board and it comes with the pins as well so this board is made out of the foam that i was talking about obviously you want something that's going to be fairly waterproofish so if you are using a pin board or a cork board maybe put a tea towel underneath it so they very kindly on here, I don't know if you can see the yellow, there's um, square around the outside, you've got triangle, and you've got hexagons and you've got a diamond so that's really useful if you're doing some different shapes. Now I want mine to, it's really going to stretch from those two corners there. So I take one of the pins, I put it through the stitch and into that corner there. the same on the other side and then pull out get all the four corners equal now what you may find is what's happened here is it's starting to bow in the middle so you can just find the middle and pull out one at the top so all four sides are covered So now again there are various ways of doing this. You can um, use a steam iron but don't actually iron onto the crochet otherwise it will, especially if it's not cotton, it will just crinkle up um, and stick together, stick to the bottom of your iron and ruin it. You sort of hold, hold your iron a little bit above and shh with the steam. Another way to do it is to use um, starch you can, you can buy um, bottles of starch in the laundry section of your supermarket and you can spray there. Or you can use the method that I'm going to use, which is to use a water spray bottle. And I'm just going to lightly spray. Now make sure with, with the to uh, nozzle at the top, you can have more of a, um, a squirt, if you like. Uh, or you can have it more as a mist. So you need to make sure you, you test it a couple of times beforehand. I've got mine on the mist. So I'm just going to spray from a slight distance. And that will loosen up the stitches. And when it dries, it will hold it in place. So I have one there. I have my second one here. And I can just slot that over the top. Of the first one again get the corners right I haven't actually sewn in my ends on this one I don't like sewing in ends so don't tell anyone and when you've got it into place and you're happy with where it is I call the stitch on that one you can just move it down Take that one out there, that went through the stitch there, there we go. So just gently push it down, try and keep the pins as straight as you can. And if you need to straighten them up, that's fine. I 
I'm going to leave a little gap in between just so they actually have some room to dry otherwise they, they're not going to but actually looking from this angle you can see whether or not you have the same height all the way around you can see that side there is slightly higher so I'm just going to pull those down a little bit and the same with this one here and that needs straightening up give it a really good woggle woggle? waggle and then I'm going to spray The next layer and you can just keep doing this with each of your uh, crocheted granny squares that you have and when they've dried they will dry to the right size as you can see these are slightly smaller only slightly smaller but you will end up with your squares all the same size this is particularly useful if like when I made my pink squares I was crocheting quite tightly but when I made the blue square this one's a little bit looser. It's the same number of stitches, but you can see it actually looks slightly bigger. And that's just because I was a bit more relaxed when I crocheted this one, possibly wasn't focusing so well. So I could just slip that one on the top, find the middle, find the middle. Push that one down, again leaving the gap, checking it's all level. And what happens is your yarn will just relax a little from getting wet and then as it dries it will tighten up to the same size. And there we have how to block your granny squares or, as I said before, any other motifs that you wish to keep nice and tight and the same size. So there you have it, a really simple way for you to block your granny squares. As I said earlier, you can use any um, board that you can find and just use ordinary pins or you can buy more expensive ones or you can get free ones like this one which I got from a magazine. Don't forget if you have enjoyed this video to give me a thumbs up in, the, in below and make sure you have a look in the descriptions below where you can follow me on social media. If you'd like to subscribe if you haven't already done so just click on my face which is up here somewhere and that will take you to the subscribe and there are two other videos on the side here which you can use to further your crochet journey. Thank you so much for joining me today and happy hooking!